I like doing it to where you can really see the meat hitting the meat there. <laughs> hitting the meat? Yeah, where you can really see that finger hitting that meat of that hand. That way you can really cue it up perfectly. Folks, we're back. We're back. The next few episodes, uh, or, or, or in the coming month or so, we're going to start adding some some uh, some of the uh, some videos to the playlist. Chips off the old block. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna some some chips that maybe you've seen on a shelf, but have been too uh, weary to buy, and today is no exception. Um, There's a lot of chips. There's always a lot of chips. So I mean, whenever we're uninspired or whenever we go into some place that doesn't have something more interesting, it's easy just to like go to the chip rack, grab a bag that you've never seen before because there's tons, and I feel like they're really like. I feel like that bubble's gonna burst one day because there's a lot of chips these days. People are starting to get like with the spicy chips it's and then crazy. with the funky flavors yeah. and then with the da da da. It's uh, chips are hot right now. Chips are in. Chips are in. Chips are so chips are in. in. Get over it, guys. Chips aren't chips going are, away. Chips aren't. Listen, you, the days of your meemaw eating the sour cream and onion chips, yeah, those are long gone. I would say one of the best chips we've eaten thus far have been the Takis Fuego. Yeah. Um, they were super crunchy. They were super flavorful. Um, and we saw something today from the brand Takis that uh, that interested us. We we saw it on the shelf. and We thought, how in the hell did they make that into a chip? And is it going to be good? And will it be good? How how will it be flavored? Guacamole. <laughs> guacamole. Guacamole. So guacamole to me is not necessarily a flavorful dip. I don't. Yeah. Uh, avocados are tasty. Love I'm, guacamole. I enjoy them. I enjoy guacamole, but it's not. Um, it's a subtle flavor. It's not yeah. a bam flavor like the Fuegos were. Yeah, I love guacamole. I don't know if I love guacamole flavored stuff. Guacamole Takis, dollar fifty. Uh, so and and a and a reasonably weighty bag of chips. Yeah. Let's get to you want to get the yeah, let's get to Instagram, folks. If you're not following us on Instagram, hit us up. Look up Gas Station Garbage on Instagram and give us a follow. Share us with your friends. While we're talking about it, also hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash gas station garbage. And, uh, of course, the YouTube channel that you're watching this video from, youtube.com forward slash gas station garbage. With that said, Takis, Guacis, let's do this. In my opinion, the best guacamole has a squeeze of lime in it and you get that squeeze of lime in these it's just a tinge of sourness it's a very subtle subdued flavor which is an interesting contrast to the uh the spicy fuego taki that we had previously you get a lot more of the corn in these corn chips and i think that might just be that they're not as heavily dusted as well there is one that sort of unfolded itself that makes me a little nervous i, I guess i'll corn chip. I like the fuegos great consistency great crunch these hold, these hold on to flavor. I think a lot better than a standard chip. Yeah, because they're wrapped. If you look inside, you can see all that, all that delicious dust. Okay. They're kind of, they got a bit of a greenish hue on the dust anyway. Yeah. I wonder if you eat them and then like come back to them later, if they turn brown, brown? and gross like, like avocados like do. Yeah. Hope not. There's nothing worse than an avocado that's overripe. Ugh. Just like eating a pat of butter. Disgusting. Here at Gas Station Garbage, we rate everything on a patented super scientific scale of 1 to 10 Gordon Ramsay's. With that said, Nick, where do we stand on the Takis? I'm going to call them Takis Guacis because I just okay. like that. I'm going to patent that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know, they're not, again, how much can you elevate a, a, a chip of corn flour, a right. fried chip of corn flour? So this, uh, this isn't really like reinventing the chip. It's not setting the bar or anything. I think I can feel okay, and this is this. I'm nervous to give it four Gordon Ramsays, but I think in the in the realm of chips, I'd probably go four on it. It's nothing super super special. There's a good taste there, very reasonable price. Give them a shot if you like uh, if you like guacamole. But yeah, it, it, there was a curiosity there that and and it certainly sort of exceeded my expectations. Maybe I should do five. I'll do five Gordon five. Ramsays. Yeah, yeah. Four seems a little low. It was edible, and I didn't dislike it at all. So five middle Gordon of the Ramsays. road five. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go four. Um, like my eggs, I like my guacamole very specifically as well. So it's one of those things that has to be made the right way for me to enjoy it. And I think maybe if we had eaten these first and then done the Taki Fuego second, this would have gotten a higher rating. Possibly. But the flavor on these is nowhere near as pronounced as the Taki Fuegos were. I like sour. I like lime. 
and the Fuegos were like, bam. These are just kind of muted and just a little bland. It tasted to me more like a Frito than anything guacamole. There are hints and subtle flavors in there, but again, um, I probably wouldn't get these again. So um, four, four Gordon Ramsay's from me. Um, if you're a huge guacamole fan or just like corn chips in general, try them out. I will say that the crunch on these uh, and the consistency is a lot better than your run-of-the-mill corn chip. Taki's got them got cornered yeah. on that one. Yeah, it's always going to have a good crunch, but give, give them a run. Not uh, They're edible, but you know if they were at a party, I probably wouldn't go for go for the bowl. For Adam, Nick, and Takis, see you guys next time. Uh, how do you say bye in Spanish? Adios. Adios. Or will this be more of a true, true to nature guacamole flavor, like an avocado? There's a lot of shit happening around us I like, right now. Yeah, we should probably move. I don't know. What do you think? No, we'll just finish this one. Oh, wait, no, that's cool. We just created parking spaces. <laughs> that's good. Perfect. Paving the way. Yeah. Paving the way. And now people are parking the way we're parking. Yeah. Like <laughs> which is, assholes. Which is illegally. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're going to move after we do this. <laughs> I think uh, people are starting to wake up and we're starting to be an obstruction. Okay, anyway, sorry. Yeah. We'll make this fast. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Talkies, talkies, walkies.